Welcome back to my Minecraft Custom NPCs tutorial series. Uh, in the last few episodes, I've just been going over like the broad strokes of the mod. And in this episode, I will actually show you how to create something for you to use in your uh, maps and servers. Uh, and what we will be learning is how to create a basic guard, like this lovely fellow back here, who will patrol an area and fight off monsters and keep the townsfolk, like that guy over there, safe. Okay, let's begin. So we're going to start with the NPC wand. Uh, most of these tutorials will start with that. That's kind of the basic thing you need. Uh, the only other thing you'll need is the NPC pather and maybe the mob cloner if you want to just copy and paste these guards really quickly to, you know, fill out your city and keep it safe. So I'm going to start this guard's rounds back here, so the opposite of him. Oh, hello. Hello, I... Uh, so just right-click the ground, and you're going to create an NPC. Uh, we can. I'm going to name him Stillwater Guard. I'm going to change his model. I'm actually going to make this a female, and I'll show you how to kind of customize their appearance a little bit. So if you come down here to the Load tab, y these are presets that you can create, or there's some pre-created ones. So I'm going to select Human Female, and that'll change their look a little bit. And then I'm going to come up to Parts, uh, come over here to Breasts, and I'm going to change it to that one, to Option 2, just because it looks a little less ridiculous. For Texture, you can choose what you would like, but I am going to show you some more options for this. So I already showed you how you can select one. Uh, some other options, if you click Texture, you can set this to be a player name. So if we enter my name, that's not how you spell my name, that's better. So if you enter my name and exit out, he will look like me, only a little bit weirder. Uh, I'm going to actually use a URL. This is a, uh, I have a image gallery full of medieval fantasy Minecraft skins uh, that I like to use. And I will provide a link to that in the description for you to use in your uh, maps as well. So that is basically what the guard will look like. And for these specific models, I think I actually want to suck the eyes and raise them up one so it fits into their eye sockets better, like that. Okay, and now the next step will be to give them, uh, you know, weapons. So in the custom NPCs uh, mod, it actually adds a bunch of weapons in this little ninja star tab. So let's give our lovely guard a... Let's do an iron spear. Oh, you know what? Let's do So let's give our lovely NPC a iron broadsword and a I think that's a tower shield. Actually no, you know what? These are based off of Skyrim. Let's give her a uh, a round iron shield. Inventory. So we will place those there and there. All right. And now let's set it up so that she won't die when she gets into a fight. So I'm going to set her health to something ridiculous. A few thousand. Uh, set the melee options. I like to set this at like a hundred so that she kills everything and give it some knockback. Uh, that's really all you need to do. Um, AI retaliate, stuff like that. Come into advanced. Uh, change the job to guard. Edit and say attack monsters and attack creepers. Um, and now she should be able to hit them so fast that they just die. 
The next option you will want to click is go into your Factions tab and select her as one of your factions and turn on Attack Hostile Factions and Defend Faction Members. And now, if a mob were to spawn by her, such as... Let's just spawn a zombie. She will do that. Run up and kill it instantly. Okay. So that part's done. That's the easy part. Now let's set her guard route. So take the NPC pather, right click her, come up here, and then right click the points you want her to patrol to. And I'm just going to set her to come up here to back to the entrance, and then she'll loop back. Now we're going to select the NPC wand again, come back to the guard, right-click her, go to AI, uh, down to movement, set her to moving path, backtracking, pauses, yes. And you are pretty much done. She should now follow that path that we set up and kill any enemies that she finds. It's a little bit of server lag right there. And then the only other thing I recommend that I did on these guards up here, I'm not going to do to hurry quite yet, but I will go back and do it, is in the lines, I would give them some interact lines. Uh, I gave these guys some ones from Skyrim. Uh, you can give them whatever you want. So that way, as a player, if you come up on this place and you go talk to the guard, you know, he'll talk to you a little bit. This concludes this episode of the Custom NPCs tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And stay tuned till next week when I show you how you can create your own shop.